Officially introduced in Uganda in 2017, the pentathlon sport has not had much success in spreading its wings across the country. But the story is changing now. The Uganda Modern Pentathlon Federation, together with the International Pentathlon Federation and the Uganda Olympic Committee, has launched a level one training course for the five discipline sport. Yeah, fencing, running, shooting, and obstacles. Obstacles are these things you see like ninja warriors. Eh? That is what they are changing now, but it used to be horse riding. So it, one athlete has to play these five games on the same day and within 90 minutes. So, so the sport was already there. It is COVID which took us back those two years. And then the whole of last year we, 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 we spent trying to reorganize ourselves. But this year we have started with this to train the coaches because the coaches are the base of the activity. And then after the coaches, then while, when we have the coaches, they will, we shall deploy them now to start uh, expanding the game in, in the different schools, communities and the rest of them. Modern pentathlete Yasa Muhammad from Egypt is spearheading the training that has attracted 15 coaches across the five disciplines. The training will help the coaches to better their understanding of the sport and its technicalities before they embark on rolling it out in the communities. I'm pretty sure by the end of this week, many of us will at least be having a good understanding of the sport. So to ensure that um, as a country, we are equipped uh, both with the knowledge and at the same time with the necessary information to ensure that we take this sport forward. Because we have the talent, we are getting the opportunities of the technical people that we start having the competitions happening. The five-day training commenced yesterday, the 31st of January, 2023, at the Kampala Parents School and will go on till the 4th of February, 2023. Grace Joyce Kemgisa and Manzi Daniel, UBC News.